what is up guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're inside a serum and we're going to be creating some sick serum wavetables. Uh, it's going to be crazy, it's going to be a good time. So more specifically, we're going to be creating a modulating kind of sound, uh, making it as crazy as possible and then hitting that resample to OS A, seeing what we come up with and then further manipulating that to create more wavetables and etc etc. It goes on and on and on. I just love that you can do so much inside a serum because it accepts wavetables like the possibilities are truly endless. So the way resample to A works is serum takes your sound across one bar and then sums it to mono and then creates a wavetable inside of OS A for you. It's a really awesome feature to make just like quick and easy wavetables inside a serum. Yeah, let's start off with like a basic sound then progress it to something hopefully that ends up being really crazy. Just to show you what I mean quickly, let's turn on the filter and then drag LFO1 out so it's like a ramp. Map this to LFO1 and then let's hear how that sounds. Okay, let's do that over a bar. And then menu, resample to OS A. And then we turn the filter off and you'll see this very unusual wavetable but if we scroll through the wavetable It's exactly the same sound we had before with the filter on it. And then we can go grab LFO1 and map it to wavetable position. Change that to bar to maybe eights. And now, and <laughs> now you've got some old school dubstep wub. Wavetables and serum. Oh yeah. But yeah, that's fundamentally how like resample to A works. Uh, all right, let's create some craziness. Back to the standard preset. And what we are going to do is do the LFO ramping thing like that before change that to one bar. So we're gonna have just like a modulating sound across one bar. Let's change the wavetable. We can go with like a subby sound. Drag this to the wavetable position. Set that to trigger. Pretty stock standard, it's kind of like a sweeping little sine wave here. Um, let's let's get some FM from B action happening. So I turn on oscillator B and drag the octave up to two. Bring the level all the way, uh, yeah, let's bring the level all the way down and then get some FM from B. Could be interesting. Let's go ahead and map this from LFO1 to FM from B and make a point around there. So that's sounding more like a square wave. We definitely want more character than that. We change that to sync. That turned my ears. And we can modulate this as well with the LFO one. I was gonna say with the LFO tool. No, that's a completely separate thing, Sam. We're getting there. Let's go ahead and change this wavetable. Okay, that the third one was really cool, so let's just remove this. And let's add one filter and then we'll go ahead and resample that to A. We could do like a comb or something. Resonance up. Yeah, let's modulate that. Maybe that section sounded pretty good. Okay, okay. We could fan that up with a little bit of distortion. It's really quiet. Okay, we can add a spice of that. Just, just a pinch. I feel like there needs to be a serum cooking show. That's a bit too much. How about when this comes in and peaks, this will get turned down a little bit. All right, that's not too ear piercing. So we've got a fairly growly sound here. Menu, resample to OS A. Oh my God, that's a weird one. So if we go back to what I said like a couple minutes ago, Serum basically takes your whole sound as is with the FM from B and the filter and then the distortion, then slots it back into oscillator A. The same kind of rendered sound is now going from FM to B and then the filter and then the distortion. So it's kind of like doubling up on effects. Um, this is where you get into crazy territory because you can get like resampled to resampled to resampled and it just gets hectic. <laughs> But the cool thing is, we can change that from bar to eighth. Maybe do a little curve like this. And now we're getting some crazy sounds. But the main thing we're after is the crazy wave table sound. So we can go ahead and... And now we're already on our way to creating some crazy bass lines. But that is not the aim of this tutorial. The focus is on wavetables, not basses. Here's the starting point to then create the crazy basses afterwards. So we have this wavetable. We can go ahead and click the pencil tool to edit it. And look at it in more detail. And yeah, that looks pretty crazy. Add some processing. Remove DC offset. Get a little bit more headroom. Normalize each stage. 
and crossfade just in case. And then export that as 32 bit. So this can go on our user. This can be cray cray one. Who uses cray cray anymore? This guy. <laughs> Got that saved. Uh, let's go back to init preset. User. Would you look at that? Cray cray one. I don't know what happened there. I must have caught like the tail end of the repetition. Or unless it's got like something to do with the BPM. Or the... All right, we're gonna resample the resampled. Let's create this ramp up again so we get like a modulating sound which we can like wubba, wubba, wubbinize later. Is that a word? That's gonna be a fucking word from now on. Wubbinize. Map to the wavetable. Let's find a sweet spot first. It might be a little bit too FM and screechy. Across the bar. Sweet. All right, let's let's drag in the classic reverb filter. That could be interesting. Maybe a little bit too much. Just a subtle hint of the reverb filter. Let's add some modulation. Let's drag this on and then shuffle through the mods. Yeah, the bends were definitely the coolest. Let's introduce Os B. I have no idea what we're gonna do for Os B. Let's drag in another Cray Cray. Turn this off for a second. Yeah, and let's drag in the bend plus and minus again. We're not dragging in and we're selecting it, Sam. Come on, get your shit together. All right, let's turn on Os A again. Mean, all right. Let's add, lastly, a filter from the effects section because we've already used up our filter doing the reverb thing. Actually, that could go to B as well. So both A and B are passing through the reverb filter. Then being dragged onto this filter. Now, if we do any stereo effects such as the chorus, the phaser, the flanger, the hyper dimension, the delay, the reverb, remember this gets some to mono in the end and it's gonna sound a little bit mangled. Uh, we could do a subtle phaser. Just to add a little bit more growl, such as. All right, let's drag in this distortion. I gotta stop saying dragging in. We are selecting it, Sam. We ain't, we ain't dragging shit in. And let's do this descend. That is gritty, that is bassy. Definitely want that resample to A. That is an interesting wavetable shape. What the fuck is that? It honestly looks like an ocean. Like, that's where the sand kind of dips off and that's where the water comes in. I don't know, I'm chatty shit. Cool, cool, so we can save this as, let's do the classic, remove DC offset, normalize, crossfade, just make it all smooth. Export as 32 bit, want the most detail, and cray cray two. Back to init preset, uh, user, we got cray cray one now. And we also got cray cray two. All right, so that's two wavetables created. Like I said, you can womanize them all you want after that, or you can just keep resampling and resampling and creating more intense wavetables uh, from your wavetables. And yeah. All right, so that concludes today's tutorial. Hopefully you had a bit of fun making wavetables in Serum like I did. Um, you know, possibilities are endless. Just resample on your resample and then resample your resample. Anyway, I want to thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy the video or it helped you out. And I'll catch you guys in the next Antidote tutorial. And uh, yeah, see you later. Peace.